there will be on average 10,000 of your original molecules from your urine in any other pint in the world. How much water is there on Earth? I mean, can we put a number on something that big? Well, some have tried. If you read through the research, people have estimated the total amount of water in oceans and lakes and ice caps and probably the clouds, I guess. And the consensus seems to be that on Earth, there's around about 1,347,000,000 cubic kilometers of water. So if you want to imagine all the water on Earth, simply picture a cubic kilometer of water, which is a giant cube, one kilometer in each direction, and then imagine just over 1.3 billion of those. If you'd rather imagine it all together, you could fit all the water on Earth into a single cube that's just over 1,100 kilometers in each direction, or, or a megameter. So there's approximately one cubic megameter of water on Earth. Now, a much better way to picture this would be a more accessible unit. So for example, liters. A liter is the volume you get in a cube that's only 10 centimeters in each direction, or one tenth of a meter, a decimeter, if you will. So a cubic decimeter, or liter, will fit about a thousand times into a cubic meter. You would then be able to fit about a billion cubic meters into a cubic kilometer. And so the grand total of volume on Earth, if you want it in liters, is around about 1,347 billion billion liters, or just over one sextillion liters. If you want to put it in an even better unit, we can put that into pints. Because you can imagine holding a pint glass. If you got all the water on Earth and put it into pints, you'd have around about 2,689 billion billion pints. Or you're going to need around about two sextillion pint glasses. And to be honest, who doesn't order their rounds to the nearest sextillion? Now, two sextillion, again, is a bit of a weird number. We would normally write that down as two times 10 to the 21. So it's a two with 21 zeros after it. It's what we call in maths a very large number. Now, Let's compare that to something else. So imagine you're holding a single one of those pints of water. Pick any of the two sextillion, whichever one is your favorite. And in there, you could count the number of molecules. So if you take a normal pint of water and work out how many molecules are in there, which I may have done, you end up with around about two times 10 to the 25. So that's two with 25 zeros. It's a bigger number. There are more molecules in a pint of water then there are pints of water in the world. In fact, there's about 10,000 times as many molecules in your pint as there are possible pints. So the amazing thing about this is that if you take a pint of water and you drink it, and then you urinate it back out, probably into the same glass to save on washing up, and then you take that pint of urine and you mix it into the ocean, and you give it long enough to stir and move around, and then you take another pint of water from anywhere else on the planet, there will be on average 10,000 of your original molecules from your urine in any other pint in the world. Now, the great thing about this is that as I was growing up in Australia, I was known to swim in the ocean and occasionally pee. So it means, given it's been a while since then, every time you have a pint that you're about to drink, I want you to just stop for a second and reflect there's a little bit of me closer than you think. Why not subscribe? The button is here. <laughs>